dear learner today i am going to discuss about the summation of arithmetic progression up to n term that is sn is equal to n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 into d so let us derive the formula for derivation let us consider an arithmetic progressions the terms are a the second term a plus d the third term a plus 2 d the third term a plus 3 d dot 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 so on uh, just before the another term is a plus n minus 2 into d and the last term that is another term is a plus n minus 1 into d now let the sum of the arithmetic progression up to n term be as sn. That means, if you add all the terms one by one up to n term, the summation is as sn. So, as n is equal to a plus a plus d plus a plus 2 d plus dot 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 uh, just before the n term is plus a plus n minus 2 into d plus uh, a plus n minus 1 into d say this is equation number 1. For our convenience let us arrange the right hand side of the equation in reversing orders. So, if you arrange the term in the reversing order summation remain same. So, s n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus n minus 2 into d plus a plus n minus 3 into d plus dot 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 plus a plus d plus a. Say this is equation number 3. So, this equation number 3 uh, when we arrange the term in, uh, in a reversing orders. So, this is equation number 2. Now, adding the two equation equation number 1 and 2 1 plus 2. So, when you add two equation first you add the left hand side and the left hand side of the two equation. So, S n plus S n will be twice of S n. So, for our convenience uh, let us add the term in systematic way how you add the first term with first term second term with second term of the right hand side. So, if you go uh, then you add the first term with first term then a plus a plus n minus 1 to d of the equation number 2 of the right hand side then you get twice a plus n minus 2 into d. So, if you get the second term of the uh, equation number 1 and the second term of the equation number 2 then you get the same summation that is twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, plus dot 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 uh, then if you add the old uh, consecutive term in the systematic array then all the terms will be twice a plus n minus 1 into d and the last term also twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, if you see right hand side of these new equations after reading equation number 1 and 2 all the terms of right hand side are same that is what twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, if all the terms are same and these terms come in n times because the number of term here n. So, this particular term is coming n times. So, if you add the same term into n times the summation will be what? Summation will be n into twice a plus n minus 1 into e. So, in this way we get twice s n is equal to n into twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, if you solve this equation that means our aim is to find the value of s n. So, s n equal to what? Since 2 is the multiple on the left hand side if you bring other side it will be divide. So, n by 2 into twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, that is the final line of this derivation. So, finally we derive this formula that s n is equal to n by 2 into twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, means this derive this formula. Let us come to another form of the same formula S n. So, S n can be expressed in another form that is what S n is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. So, new symbol is coming here that is what l. l is what? l is the last term 
last term of the series is n. So, n -th term is the last term. So, let us derive this new form s n is equal to now n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 into already we get the formula. No, already we get the formula s n is equal to n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, if the second bracket portion if you derive then you can write twice a can be uh, express a plus a no and n minus 1 into d. So, uh, excluding the first term in the second bracket that you see a plus n minus 1 into d can be substituted by a n because that is the nth term formula no a plus n minus 1 into d can be expressed as n. So, that is why we can write uh, n by 2 into a plus a n. So, a n is what n is the nth term. So, in this way if you replace n by l then you can write a new form of this uh, same formula as n is equal to n by 2 into a plus l where l is the last term. Last term means the nth term of the arithmetic progression. So, that is the another form of the arithmetic progression. So, let us come to the solution of exercise 5.3. I have already selected a few problem from this particular exercise 5.3. So, let us come to uh, question number 1 Roman 2 from exercise 5.3. The question is what? Find the sum of arithmetic progressions a p the terms are minus 37 then minus 33 minus 29 dot dot so on to 12 term that means this we have to find the sum of this arithmetic progression up to 12 terms. So, this uh, terms are already given arithmetic progression, so no problem, no need to verify. Directly we can come to the formula. Let us come to the solution. So, here the first term of the arithmetic progression is minus 37, so a equal to minus 37. So, the common difference now d, so if you subtract the second term from the first term then you get the common difference because we, the, the list of numbers are already given in a p. So, d equal to second term is here minus 33, so minus 33 minus the first term, first term is minus 37. So, if you calculate you get minus 4. So, in this way the color difference is 4 and since the uh, summation uh, find up to 12 terms, so n equal to 12. So, let us come to the uh, summation formula. Now, S n is equal to uh, n by 2 into twice a plus n minus 1 into d. So, let us substitute the value of n, a and d in this particular formula. So, n is equal to 12, n for 12. So, 12 by 2 into 2 into a, a for minus 37 plus again n for 12, 12 minus 1 and d for here. 4. So, now calculate this one. This simple calculation if you simplify then you get 12 by 2 means 6. So, in bracket portion minus 74 plus 44. So, if you simplify it come to 6 into minus 30 finally you get uh, equal to minus 180. So, this is the summation of the series up to 12 terms. So, that is the solutions. So, S12 is minus 180. Therefore, S12 that means summation up to 12 term is minus 180. Then we come to the another problem of the same exercise 5.3 question number 2 Roman 3. This is another type of problem that is what find the sum of a series. The series means few numbers are arranging in a series. So, the series sum is minus 5 plus minus 8 plus minus 11 plus dot 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 so on up to minus 230. So, we have to find the sum of the series, but the series is not given a p or not. So, let us check whether the series are in a p or not arithmetic progressions, whether they satisfy the characters of arithmetic progression not. So, let us uh, find the difference between the consecutive term of the series. So, let us come to the solution. First of all, we start from a2 minus a1 that second term minus first term. So, second term is here minus 8, the first term is minus 5. So, minus 8 minus minus 5 will be minus 3. 
Then the third term minus second term that is a 3 minus a 2 is minus 11 minus minus 8 equal to minus 3. So, what do we have? So, both the difference are same. So, that means the given series have a common difference. Since the given series has a common difference, so they are in a p. So, d equal to minus 3, so it is an a p. Since it is a p, there is no problem to find the summation of this particular series, but here uh, in this particular series, uh, there is number of term is not given. So, we need to find the number of term that means we need to find the value of n. Let the nth term of the series a n is minus 230. So, you substitute the value of n that is nth term formula then a n for a plus n minus 1 into d equal to minus 230. Uh, just you substitute the value of a and d here, then a is minus 5 plus n minus 1 into d, d is minus 3 equal to minus 230d. So, if you solve this is equation, this is a simple linear equation of one variables, only n is unknown. So, n minus 1 into minus 3 equal to minus 225, that means minus 5 if you bring from left to right side, then minus 5 become plus. So, minus 30 plus 5 will be minus 225. So, n minus 1 equal to 75, how you solve easily you can find because minus 3 is the multiple of the left hand side, if you bring other side it will be divided that means minus 225 divided by minus 3 equal to 75. So, if you solve then it will be n equal to 76, that means minus 1 other side plus 1, so 75 plus 1 be 76. So, in this way you can find the uh, number of term. So, n is 76. Let us come to the summation of the series now. So, S n now, you know we have two form of S n. One is S n is equal to n by 2 into twice a plus n minus 1 into d and the second form S n is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. Since the second form is very uh, convenient to use here because if you use this last term is given. So, we can use the second form of the as n. So, as n for what? n by 2 into a plus l. So, just you put the value of a and l. l means the last term that is the nth term. So, if you substitute the value of a here and n, n already determined a is 76. So, 76 by 2 into minus 5 a for minus 5 plus l, l means the last term is n term is last term that is minus 233. So, if you simplify 76 by 2 will be 38 and minus 5 plus minus 230 will be minus 235. Uh, if you multiply this to 38 and minus 230, it will be minus 28930. That means minus 8930. So, in this we get the summation of the series. Therefore, the required sum is minus 8930. This is the solution of this particular problem. Let us come to another problem of the same exercise 5.3. Question number 3 Roman 7s. Here few terms are given. So, let us see. Given here a is equal to 8, a n is equal to 62, s n is equal to 210, and then we, have, we need to find a and d, find a and d. So, we need to find n and d, sorry not a, uh, it is n, find n and d. Let us come to the solution of this particular problems. Here the first term will be given, uh, it is what a equal to 8. So, the another term a n is 62. So, if you use the n term formula here, so a n can be replaced a plus n minus 1 into d equal to 62. Uh, since here uh, the first term is given, you can substitute the value of a here. So, a for 8, so 8 plus n minus 1 into d equal to 62. So, if you bring 8 from left to right side, it will be minus, that means 62 minus 8. So, n minus 1 into d equal to 62 minus 8. So, if you uh, solve, that means if you want to find the value of d, so d equal to uh, 54 by n minus 1. Since n minus 1 is the multiple of g, so it is other side will be it will divide. So, 62 minus 8 is 54. So, 54 divided by n minus 1. Say equation number 1. Say it is equation number 1. 
again come to the uh, SN. So, SN is given here 210. So, again you uh, use the second form of the summation formula that is what SN for n by 2 into a plus a n. So, a n is the nth term. Since the nth term here given, so we can substitute the value of n. So, a n for 62, a is also given. So, a is 8. So, you get equation now substituting the value of a n a n in this particular form. So, it will be what n by 2 into 8 plus 62 equal to 210. So, it is a simple equation now, it becomes a simple equation. So, uh, then you can solve, then you solve, then n equal to what? 210 divided by 35. So, I think you understood how you got. So, you see in this particular terms 8 plus 62 will be what? 70. So, 70 divided by 2 will be what? 35. So, that means if you simplify the left hand side of this equation, it will be what? n into 35. No. So, if you bring 35 from left to side, it will be divided. In this way, we get n equal to 210 by 35. So, 210 by 35 that will be 6. So, in this way we can solve this equation n equal to 6. Then you take the equation number 1. So, equation 1 implies d equal to 54 by so n minus 1 just replace the value of n since n already you find that n equal to 6. So, since n equal to 6. So, we can replace the value of n here. So, d equal to 54 by 6 minus 1. So, 54 by 5. So, 54 by 5 is the value of d. That is the common difference. Or you can write in the mixed fraction also. Then, 54 by 5 can be 10 whole 4 by 5. So, this is the mixed fraction. So, in this way, you can find the number of terms that is n and the common difference of the particular arithmetic progression. Then we come to another problem the same exercise question number 8. Let us come to the questions uh, what is given here you see find the sum of the 51 term of arithmetic progression whose second and third terms are 14 and 18 respectively. So, two terms are given second and third term then you need to find the summation up to first 50 one term of this particular AP. Since uh, the second term and third term is given, so we can find the common difference. Let us come to the solution. So, here A2 equal to 14, A3 equal to 18, then D equal to that is common difference is equal to A3 minus A2. Since A3 and A2 are the consecutive term, so if you subtract A3 minus A2, then you get the common difference. So, in this way, a3 for 18 and A2 for 14. So, 18 minus 14 equal to 4. So, in this way we can find the common difference of the AP. Again, you come to the uh, third term of this AP. Since the third term is given A3 is equal to uh, A3 can be A plus 2D. That means you can use the anatom formula. No, A3 for A plus 2, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. No. So, directly also can write no problem A3 is equal to A plus 2D. Now, we can substitute the value of A3, A3 for 18, A for A and D for 4. So, you solve this equation A equal to 10. So, in this way, we can solve this equation A equal to 10, the first term is 10. Then we come to the SN formula. So, SN for what? The first form of the SN, already we derived this formula, SN is what? n by 2 into twice A plus n minus 1 into D. Since we need to find the summation up to 51 terms, so n can be replaced by 51. So, as 51 is equal to 51 by 2, so n can be replaced by 51. And you can substitute the value of a and d also. a is here 10, so 2 into 10 plus 51 minus 1, so n for 51 and d for 4. So, if you simplify the right hand side of this equation, so 51 by 2, 2 into 10 is 20 plus 51 minus 1 is 50, 15 to 4. So, in the second step, as 51 is equal to 51 by 2 into 20 plus 200. So, in this way, we get 51 by 2 into 220. So, finally, we get as 15 is equal to 5610. So, this is the summation of this particular 
arithmetic progressions up to 51 term. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. Then we come to another problem of the same exercise, question number 10. Let us come to the questions here. So, that a1, a2, dot 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 so on, a n form an a p where a n is defined as below. So, it is number Roman 1. So, there are two questions given. I selected only the first one. The first one is uh, S n is equal to a n is equal to sorry a n is equal to 3 plus 4 n. So, here uh, we have to show that they form an a p first. If a n is equal to 3 plus 4 n then they form an a p. So, how can you uh, verify they form an a p first you uh, for come to the uh, given term n term. Let us come to the solution of this exercise uh, a n is equal to 3 plus 4 n. So, uh, n is the number of term no. So, that is why n can be replaced by 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us start from 1 the first term. If you replace n for 1 you get the first term. So, first term will be what a 1 is equal to 3 plus 4 into 1. So, if you calculate then you get 7. So, a 1 equal to 7. So, a 2 equal to now 3 plus 4 into 2. So, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So, in this way a 2 equal to 11. Then uh, if you replace n for 3 then you get the third term. So, third term will be 3 plus 4 into 3 n for 3 then you get 15. So, a 4 a 4 is 3 plus 4 into 4 uh, equal to 19. Then in this way we get the fourth term a 4 equal to 19. So, let us verify whether the terms for uh, form an AP or not, whether they form an AP or not. So, let us check the difference between the consecutive terms. So, first of all, start from the A2 minus A1. So, A2 is 11 and A1 is 7. So, 11 minus 7 is 4. Then, third term minus second term, A3 minus A2, that is 15 minus 11, that is also 4 a 4 minus a 3 that is 19 minus 15. So, that is also 4. So, here we see the difference between the consecutive terms are same that means they have a common difference. Therefore, the given terms form an a p. Since the given terms have a common difference d equal to 4 therefore, they are in a p that means arithmetic progression. So, the first part is done. Uh, we verified the given terms are in AP. Now, we come to the summation formula SN. So, SN you know the first form of the SN is uh, n by 2 into twice a plus n minus 1 into d. Since we have to find another summation, uh, summation of this arithmetic progression up to 15 terms. So, we can replace n for 15. So, uh, here S 15 is equal to uh, 15 by 2, 2 into a, a for here 7, since the first term is 7, so we can replace a by 7 plus 15 minus 1, since n equal to 15, so n can be replaced 15 and the common difference already we find that is 4. So, if you simplify the right hand side of this equation, 15 by 2, that is 14 plus 14 into 4, so and uh, 15 by 2 into uh, 14 plus 56. So, 14 plus 56 is 17. This way we can calculate 15 by 2 into 70. So, 70 by 2 means this 35. So, 15 into 35 is 525. Finally, we conclude this that the summation of the series up to 15 term is 525. Fewer, I have selected only this few problem from this particular exercise for today's and this is my uh, fourth video. In the next video, I am going to solve few selected problem from this same exercise. So, before concluding my class, once again, I would like to request all of you, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.